And one, two, three, he burst within her. When she took him in, still a little flaccid, no thank you. He opens my silk robe and touches my cunt, as if he were Adam just discovering Eve's pussy. Was there, was there finger banging in the Garden of Eden? I'm going to come, she said, and did, and held him tight inside her, hands still gripping his shoulders, her head drooping so that her hair was in his face. I kissed her chest and her inner thighs and everywhere. Her pussy was clean with a five o'clock shadow and just a hit and smell. She kisses his face and licks it. She bites his lip. She bites his cheek. It's kind of painful. He shut his eyes and thought of mangoes, split papayas, fruit tarts, and sweet and dripping with juice. And then it was off, and he groaned and his whole body turned sweet. And Gwenny looked down with a smile growing on her bitten lips. Cojones are not the most useful accoutrement at times like these, groaned Ezra. Yes, I know. I traded mine in at a Tupperware party. I came away with a lovely butter boat that was far more useful and admired in New Bedford. Far in the back of whatever was left in his mind, the light of reason was struggling against being finally extinguished, and he was aware that wearing a condom would have been a good idea. No shit, Sherlock. Though I was shit unfit, though I was every bit as fucking fit as her husband, she had to her an overbite of hesitation. I love your cock, she said. It loves you. What do you want me to do? Touch my ass. She tickled my anus as she licked my balls and shaft and slathered her tongue on my helmet. She whips his face with her hair, back and forth, presumably. He remembered his furtive porn mags rolled her over on her hands and knees, and she laughed over her shoulder at him. And he closed his eyes and pounded in and felt her arch her back like a cat. And then remind myself to feel, not think, to allow the warmth, the pleasure to flood over me to unlock myself to his tongue, to surrender completely. Man looked at woman, and woman looked at man, with all the difficult dissimilarities and inequalities and arguments and varying obstacles, now, and only now, harmonizing so beautifully as they unflatteringly coiled in carnage on the basement rug. And he was starting to think about himself when she bit his cheek, as if eager to spread the pain, and it hurt, and he loved it, and he could feel the skin was broken, and he started coming. And so did she. They need to go to therapy.